so good afternoon friends students today we'll uh, start with the eighth uh, unit that is a poem to the foot from its child this is uh, written by pablo neruda he is a chilean poet he is from chile so is a nice poem let us see some parts of the body are normally attributed metaphorically for example heart indicates emotions or feelings head reason or intelligence similarly we refer to the foot foot means quite healthy shoulders quite strong hand very much helping eyes beauty so these are some of the parts of the body which attribute to some other things the poem to the foot from its child is written by the chilean poet pablo neruda the pen name of the great diplomat and politician neftali ricardo roes basalto so this is his full name he chose his pen name after the zek poet jan neruda you know what is a pen name eh kava 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 nama antara for example uh, kuwempu is a pen name is not as the original name so they take some other name and they use it while writing that is called as a pen name here also pablo neruda is a pen name he took his pen name after the zek poet zek mean czechoslovakia jan neruda he wrote a number of surrealistic poems historical epics political manifestos autobiography and some love poems he is a great, great writer south american he won the nobel prize for literature in 1971 the poem has been translated into english by alistair reed first it was written by pablo neruda in his own language then it is uh, translated into english by alistair reed an eminent scottish poet and translator He is one of Scotland's foremost literary figures, admired as a craftsman in poetry, prose, and translation. Let's go for a short summary before starting the poem. The poem doesn't follow the regular rhyme and meter pattern, just as the poem on children. You might have seen the poem on children. There also, the doesn't follow the rules of poetry for example rhyming four four line stanzas so they don't follow and this is uh, called poetic liberty they have the liberty to write as they want so this also has an irregular pattern then some parts of the body are attributed metaphorically such as heart it uh, represents emotions or feelings head reason and or intelligence foot health and strength and shoulders that also indicates the strength the physical strength hand generosity and eyes beauty so these are all some of the metaphors used here the foot stands for the man who struggles throughout his life so it stands for the man then the child's foot is not at aware it's a foot the child's foot when the child is born foot is part of its body but that time the foot is not aware and eh, that it is a foot and wants to be an apple or a butterfly it has got its own imagination the foot wants to be an apple bulging on a tree or a butterfly flying happily so these are the desires of the foot gradually uh, the stones bits of glass streets and ladders teach the foot that it cannot fly or be a fruit bulging on the branch this means the difficulties of life uh, whatever the difficulties come the stones bits of glass streets ladders means ha uh, difficulties which come on the way they all tell that the foot it cannot be a butterfly 
or an apple the child's foot is defeated in the battle hmm? and becomes a prisoner condemned to live in a shoe so your battle means the child wants to be an apple or a butterfly but the difficulties of life the hardships of life all these don't allow that foot to be an apple or a butterfly so the it gets defeated and then the foot becomes a prisoner and continues to live inside a shoe then the foot grows to know the world in its own way inside the shoe it is a prisoner it is quite dark but even then it starts knowing learning knowing some things for example just like a blind man blind man sometimes knows the way he has got his own senses he comes straight turns left or right then comes to his home similarly the foot also was like a blind man the soft nails of quartz bunch together grow hard if you take a child the nails i mean the fingers the toes they are very very soft but they are all bunch together if it is always inside a shoe they are bunch together and they change themselves they become a hard as a opaque substance first it was like a quartz now it has become opaque sub opaque means light cannot pass through a wood so that is an opaque transparent and opaque in tv so and the petal toes take the form of eyeless reptiles reptiles small small insects or small small snakes they don't have uh, eyes eh? but they look like that with the triangular heads like worms triangular heads like worms then they grow callous and covered with a faint volcano of death if you see the picture here you can clearly see at the bottom of the apple tree there are a lot of stones um, nails eh? all these uh, sometimes they look like a uh, eyeless reptiles small small reptiles the foot walks without respite the foot the suppose a man is walking the foot will not say that, no no i cannot walk it has to walk and it will walk eh? never stopping one foot the other both the man's and the woman's everybody eh? it may be a man it may be a woman it may be anybody up above and down below if the path is going up the foot walks up if the path goes down the foot goes down and through the fields mines markets and ministries the foot walks wherever the man goes the foot only carries him so wherever for example through the fields then mines markets and ministries ministries means offices the foot toils in its own shoe in its shoe to bear itself in love or sleep so the foot is imprisoned it is inside a shoe here the picture they have shown it is inside a shoe and it is just bearing itself in love or sleep just it is silent if the man walks it walks otherwise it is very silent it walks until the man chooses to stop when the foot will stop walking when the man chooses to stop when he stops foot will stop then it descended underground when the man chooses to stop means until his death it descended underground when they bury the man the foot also goes underground unaware as everything was dark eh? since everything is dark in the underground it does not know what is happening it never knew it had ceased to be a foot it never knew starting we have seen it never knew that it is a foot but now it never knew that it ceased to be a foot after it is buried it becomes free and could fly or become an apple at the end when the man dies when the body is buried underground the foot is freed 
from the slavery and then now it is free it can become a butterfly or an apple the symbolic poem let us go to the text of the poem the child's foot is not a dower it's a foot when a child is born he doesn't know anything he just watches some butterflies are flying so then sometimes he is thinking that here the child not a child the child's foot is not aware it is a foot and would like to be a butterfly or an apple that means it wants to be free it wants to be a butterfly it wants to be an apple bulging on a tree but in time that is gradually stones and bits of glass streets ladders and the paths in the rough earth go on teaching the foot that they cannot fly who teaches them stones bits of glass streets ladders and the rough paths that means all the obstacles all the difficulties of life they teach the child that it cannot fly and it cannot be a fruit bulging on the branch then the child's foot is defeated here it is compared to a fight or a war eh? and the foot is defeated the foot wants to become an apple or a butterfly but it cannot so it is defeated falls in the battle it is defeated and falls in the battle and it is a prisoner now condemned to live in a shoe and the prisoner is uh, in a war in a battle if a soldier is defeated he is put inside a prison similarly the child's foot is defeated and now it is put inside a prison and condemned to live in a shoe so what is the prison here shoe it is made to live in a shoe bit by bit in the dark slowly in the dark it grows to know the world in its own way so gradually it comes to know yes i cannot do anything i have to be inside the shoe only and i have to walk whenever the man wants to walk so he learns everything the foot learns everything in its own way out of touch with its fellow since it is enclosed in that shoe it is imprisoned it does not know what is happening outside it is enclosed feeling out like a blind man so the blind man does not know where he is going what he is doing similarly the shoe imprisoned inside sorry the foot imprisoned inside a shoe does not know and it just walks like a blind man whatever the man tells where the man wants to go the foot starts carrying him like a blind man these soft nails so nails means here the fingers or uh, the toes the fingers and all that of quartz quartz means beautiful crystal as quartz shining crystal bunched together as i told you if you see a small child the toes the all the all the like fingers of the uh, like they they will be very very soft they look like quartz and they are bunched together why they are bunched because always inside a shoe grow hard and since they are soft now they are hard and chain themselves in the opaque substance opaque means hard substances see earlier it was soft like a quartz now it is hard like an opaque substance hard as a horn It's horn you know any horn is very very hard so in similarly the foot which was very very soft like the quartz becomes hard like a opaque substance hard as a horn just see the toes of a child and the toes of a old man grown man how it is different that is very soft this is very hard because it has passed all the stages difficulties of in the world and the tiny petal toes of the child tiny petaled they are like petals toes of the child grow bunched and out of trim take on the form of eyeless reptiles 
they become like small reptiles only that they don't have eyes eyeless reptiles with the triangular heads hmm? because the front portion is like a triangle that is why triangular heads like worms so in the picture you have seen at the bottom of the tree there are uh, some triangle this thing what is that small small pieces uh, looking like an eyeless reptiles with the triangular heads like worms then later they grow callous they grow callous means they is a chemically callous means having some chemical substance that means they just become like that and are covered with the faint volcanoes of death that means they become very very hard you can't even look at them if you see an old man who has walked a lot his thing is a uh, feet and the fingers the nails they all will be very very hard and a coarsening hard to accept we can't even imagine how it was soft now how it has become hard this is difficult to accept also but this thing is this blind thing walks it continues to walk without respite without any rest and uh, no rest one foot the other see if you walk or see in a march past nobody puts both the foot together left right left right we say that means first one foot then the other foot first one foot then the other foot and similarly the man's it may be a man or it may be a woman now the man's now the woman's up above down below i told you sometimes if you the road is steep eh, the foot starts going up up above and if it is the road is going down the foot starts walking down then do different different areas through the fields mines markets and ministries eh, through the fields rough areas in the field i mean mines if somebody is working in a mine or a factory then to the mines then markets we go to the market also there also the foot has to walk and ministries if you are working in an office you can't simply jump you have to walk and then go inside backwards sometimes you go forward sometimes you go backward far a field inward forward that means everything is done by the foot the foot walks without respite without stopping without a moment of rest uh, hour after hour the one foot the other man's the woman's above below through the fields mines markets and ministries backwards far a field inward forward that means all the actions are shown here this foot toils in its shoe so it is imprisoned it is inside a shoe so it is struggling toiling working very very hard scarcely time to bear itself in love or sleep see man has got different emotions he has got love affection he sleeps he takes rest but the foot which is inside the shoe doesn't have time for all this doesn't know so it doesn't have a rest it doesn't have any love it walks it continues to walk they walk they walk means everybody man and woman they walk it walks means the foot walks they walk means men women everybody walk until the whole man chooses to stop when does the man choose to stop when he dies when he dies he will not tell the foot come on let us go he chooses to stop that is when he dies then and then he descended when they put the man the body underground he descended underground unaware he does not know anything that it is going down unaware for there everything everything was dark see when the foot goes down the earth when the body is descended everything is dark the foot doesn't know anything he doesn't know that the man is dead he doesn't know that it ceased to be a foot it never knew it had ceased to be a foot it did not know that 
that is receives to be a, a food or if they were burying it so that it could fly or so that it could become an apple after the man dies he is put into the grave under the ground or ground and then the food is free it has no more work now it is free it can become an apple or a butterfly it's a beautiful poem uh, written by pablo neruda and translated by alister reed as i told you pablo neruda is a pen name uh, of the, uh, and uh, his real name was neftali ricardo reyes basolta he chose his pen name out of the zek poet jan neruda jan neruda in 1971 neruda won the nobel prize for literature so he is uh, recognized as a poet even when he was a small boy he wrote a variety of plays and poems uh, historical epics political manifestos autobiography and love poems some of his poems are in a collection called 20 love poems and a song of despair regarding alistair reed he is one of scotland's foremost literary figures scotland is part of uk scotland ireland england these three are called uk united kingdom he is admired as a craftsman in poetry prose and translation since he left scotland during the world war 2 he has lived variously in spain france switzerland the us and south america he has been living many many places then <coughs> reed has published over 40 books including essays poetry children's books and translations and some of his famous books are the weathering oysters and he also was a friend of graves neruda and borges Uh, regarding borges you will come to know about him in the next uh, one or two lessons ad mele uh, louis borges we come across him there are famous writers you know it's all about uh, the writers and the poem now let me come to the comprehension aspect comprehension means questions and answers exam point of view we will just go through the comprehension po- aspect important questions i'll read and just discuss what would the foot like to be the foot wants to be an apple or a butterfly an apple or a butterfly second question sometimes the questions may not be there i'll uh, tell you the questions what is the child's foot not aware of the child's foot is not aware that it is a foot many times this question is coming huh? the child's foot is not aware that it is a foot then what would the foot like to be this is a question in the textbook first question i eh? already told you it wants to be a butterfly or an apple then what is this stones bits of glass streets ladders all that that is question number 4 they all refer to the hardships and difficulties one has to face in the life hardships and difficulties one has to face and that's uh, a option a question number 3 only what does time teach the child the time teaches the child that it cannot become an apple or it cannot fly then why does the child's foot feel defeated why that is question number uh, why the question number 5 here so the child's foot is defeated because it cannot do what it wanted either to fly or become a, a fruit then how does the foot how is the child's foot condemned bukal illa idu how it is condemned the child's foot is a prisoner condemned to live in a shoe then how does the foot know the world the foot grows to know the world bit by bit in its own way then how does the transformation of the foot take place how does it take place the foot learns to know the world in its own way and realizes that it is like a blind man enclosed in a 
shoe. What do the soft nails turn to? Turn into the soft nails like quartz. They turn hard. They grow hard and they change themselves into opaque substance. Then, what does the? How does the foot walk? The foot walks without respite, never stopping. Hour after hour, one after the other. Where does the foot walk through? The foot walks through the fields, mines, markets, and ministries, forward and inward, backward and far. So, for one more question, sir, uh, we expect uh, uh, words from the text, from the poem itself. You must uh, give answers. Then, how does the foot toil? The foot toils in its shoe. scarcely taking time to bear itself in love or sleep what does the, until the man a whole man choose to stop mean what does it mean it means the death of the man until the man it indicates the end of life of man which means death where does the foot descend finally the foot descends underground unaware where everything is dark what did the foot never know the foot never knew that it was it ceased to be a, a foot the last one what could the foot become after it is buried after it is buried it is free now it could fly or become an apple then one of the long answer questions only how does neruda describe the busy life of the individual as represented by the food the busy life of the individual eh? as represented by the food that is question number 5 here is a important question see poems only you cannot study all the questions of long and long this thing essays you have to select one or two and learn study them then if the question slightly changes you have to change the answer you cannot start i mean uh, preparing 1 2 3 4 5 6 questions that is why i always give one or two questions so that you can answer anything uh, this, uh, the, this question also means neruda's poem is a salute to the ordinary human being it is salute to the ordinary human being let us me see if it is there uh, i told you the question is comprehension 3 the first one how neruda's poem works out the contrast between the colorful dreams and the humdrum of life anyway this is a longer question let us see the first question how neruda describes the busy life of the individual see foot is only a part of the human body but it carries the whole body throughout its life it carries till the end in the when the body goes to the grave and then it loses its entirety the foot is the foot is free but imprisoned within the shoe and it's only a blind thing that walks never stopping amale hour after hour one foot of the other it is a, it has no freedom uh, and entirety but only a prisoner within the shoe in a, <laughs> of a man it walks up and down through the fields mines markets and ministries backward forward and inward the foot toils hard in its shoe where it is captivated and scarcely has time to indulge in love or take a nap sleep when the foot walks it is a man or the woman who walks and continues He starts some journey until the whole man decides to stop. Finally, when the man stops, it descends underground, unaware, and finds everything dark. Thus, the foot is a cynic cynic dog representing the whole body. So, figures of speech, Ali, there's something called cynic dog. Cynic dog, and then one part represents the whole, or sometimes the whole represents a part. This is a figures of speech. See, for example, 
he has many mouths to feed an example that means a man does not have many mouths he has got large family he has to look after many people in the family and that is called a synec dog here the foot is a part of the body but represents the whole body that is why this is a synec dog representing the whole body of man and man's busy life is ironically expressed by the foot second question how can the foot fly or become an apple after it is buried uh, how can you say that it can fly or become an apple after it is buried again we have to tell about all the struggles and then finally we can go to the end for example the foot walks long distances and toils without a moment of rest when the man chooses to end his life the feet descends underground unaware in the dark it does not know that it has ceased to be a foot if they bury it uh, the foot would be separated from the body and would be free now it is free so that it could fly or it could become an apple bulging on a branch this is nothing but a metaphor it just uh, imagines that after the man dies the foot has no work see foot also dies at the bereavement but what happens you know it becomes free from the control of man then one six mark question long question will be from the, i will read from the text only how does neruda bring about the contrast between the colorful dreams and humdrum reality of life comrade in three nali the first question this generally it is asked as a long question i'll uh, just discuss about this the poet pablo neruda brings out the harsh realities of life along with the colorful imagination of the full and foot of a child at the onset the child is ignorant and unaware it's a foot it imagines to grow up like a colorful butterfly or a delicious apple but in the course of time the stones and bits of glass streets and the ladders representing the difficulties and the hardships of life and the rough and tiresome paths teach the child child's foot that it cannot fly and cannot be a fruit bulging on a apple tree in the battle between the happy dream and harsh realities of life the foot gets defeated and falls and becomes a prisoner condemned to live in a shoe the soft nails of quartz bunch together grow hard and change themselves into opaque substances hard as horn and the tiny petal toes of the child grow bunched and take the form of eyeless reptiles with triangular heads like worms gradually they grow callous and get covered with the faint volcanoes of death a hard reality to accept the poem is symbolic and the foot is a synec dog representing the complete body synec dog a part of speech where a part represents a whole from the inception the foot is not aware of the harsh realities of life even when it is buried it is not aware that it ceases to exist the foot dreams of becoming a fly butterfly or an apple but later realizes that life is not full of joy and happiness but busy and tiresome the poet neruda clearly brings out the contrast between the colorful dreams and the humdrum reality of life always the answer should be end with a question what they have asked colorful dreams and humdrum reality of life you must close the answer with such things as you know a long answer it has to be 200 words 200 words means one to one and a half page and four mark questions that is comprehension 2 it should be about 80 to 100 words eh? it should not exceed a page half page mukal page irabodu but not more uh, it should not exceed at all one the one mark questions comprehension 1 should be short answers i have seen students writing long answers no no it is not at all correct you have to give a short answer that is the basic difference between your uh, high school school and college school only they just give an exercise they say answer the questions but here 
and what happens you now the teacher tells the student take page number so and so and write from here to here they will not bother about uh, words or lines but in uh, pu it is clearly asked answer the following in a word phrase or a sentence not more than one sentence last week i had sent a, a small question paper test paper i have clearly shown you one mark question four mark questions and six mark questions so clearly clearly when you come to the college i'll give a detailed briefing about that the only that people write many many things but they don't score well so you are exam oriented you should study exam oriented and marks oriented you must get marks that is more important people don't ask how many pages you have written how much marks you got that they will ask anyway i will uh, with this uh, uh, i mean poem i'll close your uh, course book because this is the eighth one so next uh, what i'm thinking is uh, we will go to the grammar aspect so grammar we will start with whatever i have done in the beginning so uh, the eighth one so first month i have completed about four uh, units this month i am i mean i plan to complete four more that is eighth is over so in this way if we go within 3 4 5 months we will be completing the syllabus that is what my plan when we used to have regular classes we used to have i used to touch only 3 not even 4 but now since uh, it is online classes uh, we can't prolong so i have decided to have 4 4 units so 8 unit so next class will be on grammar aspect grammar whatever i have done i'll continue with that mostly with the, from the uh, pronouns and all that anyway we'll come to that sometimes i may go for board work let us see that we'll see okay don't neglect see the questions as i told you today i have done this uh, poem and tomorrow we will be putting uploading 10 questions every day every video will have 10 questions of multiple choice objective type and you have to answer them in only then you will be able to score well and you should be able to score well only if you attempt all these things and marks are recorded here don't think just simply we are giving and when you come to the college they will just call you and tell you what it is uh, many people are not at all attempting okay then thank you bye